Now, wizards go. Well, now today, everybody, this is Speedboy14. Welcome back to the Republic of Speedboy and my playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy 2 for the Nintendo Wii. If you guys give me a favor and drop a like on this video, I'll really appreciate that. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell. Be notified every time I make new videos. Exciting feature of the channel, you can request your favorite star, your favorite galaxy, or even your favorite world in the game in the comments below. Also, let me know down in the comments below for question of the video. Um, I would love to know for question of the video. How much are you looking forward to? How excited are you for for summer vacation for the guys that are still in school? Of being out for the summer. I, I just wonder. Alright, so... Excuse me. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to continue from where we left off in the special world. We did the first four galaxies already. Um, we're going to do the next two now. Stone Cyclone was a butthole, like it really was. Now we're going to go on to this galaxy, which is Boss Blitz Galaxy. This is, in this one we get to fight the Super Mario Galaxy 1 bosses. The name of our star is Throwback Throwdown. Here we get to fight five of the Super Mario Galaxy 1 bosses. So this one's really cool. <laughs> I really like this one a lot. It's really cool. The first boss we fight is Dino Piranha. He was the very first boss in Super Mario Galaxy. Um, he was in the Good Egg Galaxy, of course. So it makes sense we fight him first. So the strategy is pretty much the same on this boss, like you like in Super Mario Galaxy 1. You just have to attack his tail with a spin attack. Just like that. And that's basically all you gotta do in this boss. You just gotta keep attacking him like this. Are you kidding me? How? And there we go. He's out. So that's Dino Piranha. Which is the first boss in this galaxy. The second boss, of course, is King Kalenda. He was also in the Good Egg Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. Him and Dino Piranha were both in the Good Egg Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. So he's the same strategy like he was in Galaxy 1. You just have to, when he sends those coconuts, then attack him and then, and then attack him with those coconuts. That's all you gotta do. It's pretty simple. He's a little bit harder than Dino Piranha, but still pretty easy. So that's all you gotta do. Pretty much. Alright, he's out. Before we go to the third boss, what we're actually going to do is, um, we're actually going to go here. You can get double HP here, and you can also get the Comet Medal here. Just make sure to backflip and then spin while holding A. That's how you do it. We have the Comet Medal, and skadoosh! Here is Major Burroughs coming up right here. He was in the Gusty Garden Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy. He was in the Super Mar He was in the Gusty Garden Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. So this is basically what you gotta do with this guy. So watch out for him going underground like this. So you have to be careful right here. So just ground pound and then you just attack him with a spin attack. Like that. Very simple. That's all you gotta do. One of the easiest bosses. Uh, most of the Super Mario Galaxy 1 bosses were pretty easy. Um, so, all five of these bosses are nowhere easy. 
And he's out. That quick. And now coming up, we have, of course, we have a checkpoint. And the next boss we have coming up is Boulder Ghost. And he was from Ghostly Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. And there he is right here, Boulder Ghost. So Boulder Ghost reminds me of bosses from other games. Um, I know a lot of people say there's a boss in Wind Waker like this. And I know there's a boss in Super Mario Odyssey like this. Like I've probably mentioned in my Super Mario Galaxy 1 playthrough. Um, other bosses like this. Um, Andros from Star Fox is another boss like this. My favorite play is Star Fox. I just know what other people say that, that Andros is a boss like this. And that he's from Star Fox. Tiki Tong from Donkey Kong Country Returns is like this too. Um, there's a lot of bosses like this. I Rock from Super Mario 64 has two big hands. But he don't have, but I Rock don't have the big head. So that's phase one done. All right, the second phase is gonna be a little bit harder than the first phase, but still pretty easy. Now he has the two big hands. And this really reminds me that all those other bosses have two big hands. Breath of the Wild might even have a boss with two big hands. I know Super Mario, I know Knuckle Tech from Super Mario Odyssey has two big hands. I know Tiki Tom from Donkey Kong Country Returns has two big hands. And other bosses I could think of that have two big hands. Andross from Super Mario 60. Andross from, I mean, Andross from Star Fox has two big hands. Another one with two big hands is, um, is, I Rock from Super Mario 64 has two big hands. And he's out, just like that. There is a prankster comment in this galaxy to where, we'll, to where we have a time limit to fight these bosses. Now, the final boss of this galaxy is Fury Dino Piranha, and he was from the Melty Molten Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 1. So this is basically what you gotta do, is you gotta attack him like this. You gotta attack his tail when he burns his tail on fire. And there we go. That's all you gotta do, pretty easy. Not a difficult boss by any means. A little bit more difficult than Dino Piranha, but still pretty easy. And here's where you start breathing fire. So watch out for it when he breathes fire, because fire is dangerous. I don't understand how there's fire in space with no oxygen. Because it does take oxygen to make fire. You can't breathe in space because space don't even have oxygen. I've always wondered how big space was. Like, I've always wondered how many square miles the Earth has and how many square miles space has. Because that would be interesting to know. Looks like a green one followed you back. Don't see those feller, fellers often. I bet he's got some interesting tales to tell. Why don't you say hello? Go, go say hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let's go ahead and talk to this Lima. Why not? Seeking the cosmic jewels, it's been our lifelong pursuit. There, there... There is a saying that they can be found when all of the stars have been collected. And we'll 
we'll get to see that in the next couple episodes. We have big stuff coming up. Oh, I don't want to do this area. I love the Starship Mario playing it. It looks awesome, but it don't look nearly as awesome as the Combat Observatory from Super Mario Galaxy 1. Nothing even compares to that. Alright, so let's do the Hunger Luma mission now. This one requires 2,000 star bits. So, um... Looks like you found a Hunger Luma. Hope you've got a snack of star bits. I mean, a stack of star bits, not snack of star bits. Cause those guys can eat. Hey you, yeah you, got any tasty star bits I can snack on? So hungry, feed me delicious star bits. I need to chow on 2000, then I'll transform. Open wide! You almost have all you need. There you go. So we get to unlock the second to last galaxy in the game. And this next galaxy is actually pretty easy right here. I like this galaxy coming up. It's called Flip Out Galaxy. This one, this one reminds me of one of the levels in Super Mario Odyssey. I don't. It was like one of the areas in Super Mario Odyssey that this really reminds me of. I don't remember that area in Super Mario Odyssey that this reminds me of, but. But it's cool. I like it. I'm kind of thinking about future playthroughs right now. Uh, it's gonna be a little while before Galaxy 2 is over, because this is a long game. Okay, so you get a one up here. That's good. I'm trying to think where the common metal is in this level. Uh, so... They hide it pretty well, I know. I mean, it's not hard to find, but it's just, um... If you spin, these platforms will switch. If, you, if I were to spin now, it would go from blue to red. Just like if I were to spin now, go from red to blue. I don't think the comet metal is until you get to the end of the level. They do hide the comet metal pretty well in this game, so watch out for these spiders. I'm glad that we have something chill that we can do in this episode. Nothing's really too hard in this episode. We had some hard stuff last time. Pretty much the only hard things we have left are just outside of the Grandmaster Galaxy would definitely be um, the Green Stars. Even there's a lot of Green Stars that are easy, but there are some difficult ones in this game. Okay, so basically you want the blue ones to be like this right here. Then you want a long jump and then spin. Pretty simple. That's all you gotta do right there. Here, I usually like to backflip right here. It really helps right there. Backflipping's really useful here. There we go. And then you spin. Spinning's really helpful. I love the spin move in the Galaxy games so much. Like, this is one of the easiest Galaxies in the game. It really is. Okay, here's where the Comet Metal's supposed to be. Ow! Okay, so to get it, you have to wall jump here. And 
And then we have to do a long jump and then go here. That's it. That's how you get the combo battle. It's kind of hidden, but it's pretty easy to find once you know where it's at. There we go. We're done. Oh ha! We're done. That was pretty easy. Wow. I told you guys, it wasn't even that hard. I knew it wouldn't be that hard. I knew we'd have easy stuff in this episode to do. That's our 118th Power Star and our 48th Comet Medal. We have one more Comet Medal to get, and that's in the Grandmaster Galaxy. We have a Prankster Comet. Excuse me. So let's do it. This Prankster Comet is pretty easy coming up. You do have a time limit, but at the same time, as long as you know how to beat those guys fast, it should not be a problem. Alright, so I'm ready for the prankster comment right here. Throw back, throw down, speed run. Okay. This one's actually pretty easy. Like I've already said, you have a time limit to beat the bosses. There are no checkpoints here. If I'm not mistaken, at least. We have five minutes to do it. So we have to do this, basically. We have to attack him a couple times, and then we have to do this. Come on, let me attack your tail. And there we go. So we basically just have to beat all five of these bosses with a time limit, basically. So we have to beat all these bosses again. That's basically what we gotta do, is beat all, all five of these bosses again. Mario, why are you going in circles? Why are you going in circles? Circle! Alright. Go. We just have to watch out for these um, bomb bugs right there that Boulder guys throw. Double at the beginning? That's awesome! 
I don't know what the odds of that are. Okay. We just have another hit left. Okay. I wasn't anticipating that punch. That punch is rare. It doesn't happen that often. The odds of that, I think, I think, I think it's like 1 in 32, maybe, is the odds of that happening. That's not good odds. So it's only 3.125% um, 3, 3 likely to happen, I think. It's only like 3% 3 likely to happen. One more boss, and then this comment will be over. The only thing I don't like about this prankster comment is it does take a little while, but it's still fun to do. At least these bosses are easy at least. So I know I can make them really quick. When you're attacking the tail on Fury Dino Prana, be careful not to do it whenever it's on fire, because that can hurt you. There we go. Ow. There we go. We're done. We're done with this galaxy. We just have one more star of, of this video, so this video is going to be pretty short. It looks like. I told you, these stars are easy, I told you. That's our 119th power star. We have one more star left in this video. Now all we have is the Prankster Comet of Flip Out Galaxy. I'm looking forward to doing the Green Stars later on in this playthrough. That's going to be a ton of fun. We're going to have a blast with those. Alright. Cosmic Clone Wall Jumpers. This is a pretty easy start, but at the same time it is tedious, just because you do have a lot of cosmic clones. So, we'll see how I do at it. It, it probably won't take that many tries, just because I am good at it. You don't have to worry about cosmic clones in this first room, in this first area, I mean. Area, not room. Really. Watch out for the cosmic clones that come after you, so... This reminds me of Super Mario 3 Land, almost. I was thinking of playthroughs I could do after this game. Maybe I could do Super Mario 3 World, maybe I could do Super Mario 3 Land, and maybe I could even do, uh... I would like to do 30 Land, 30 World sometime. I'd also like to do New Super Mario Bros. U at some point, too, and I'd also like to do Bowser's Fury again at some point. And I'd also like to do, um, I'd also love to do, um, Super Mario Odyssey sometime. Excuse me. Okay, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Ah! Oh my gosh! This is ridiculous! Yeah. <laughs> 
Ah, that was close. That was clutch. This is gonna be very clutch right here. Yes! First try! Wow, we finally have 120 stars. Finally. gotten every single regular star in the game. Except for a Grandmaster Galaxy. Wow! Wow! Another green one! Those are really rare. I am... I'm just speechless. Wow! Nice work. Looks like he has something he needs to talk to you about. So let's talk to him real quick. Where's he at? Oh, he's over there. Let's talk to him. Even if we have every power star, you must still you you still must defeat that monster, or we'll never see the cosmic jewels. That means we have to defeat Bowser, and we're gonna do that next time. Alright guys, that was it. Thank you very much for watching guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to drop a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button and click on the bell to know about every time I make new videos. And have a wonderful day. Peace, Republic of Speedball.